Hey, what's good YouTube? This is your boy Dr. Zizi and today I'm back with another video and today we're going to talk about my current study routine in medical school and how do I keep up to my goals on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, starting off, how much time do I study? So I have been studying on a consistent basis, which means every single day for four hours. Wait, what? Four hours? That is nothing for a medical student. Well, I've got this so many comments saying like, oh, four hours is not enough, four hours is too late. But guys, once again, there is no standard amount of time that every single medical student studies. I personally want to be studying consistently, so I'm not like that type of person who would study 10 hours today and then not study for the next couple of days. My goal is to study a specific amount of day hours every single day and possibly even increase the amount of hours as time goes on. Like a week ago or two weeks ago, I used to do three hours a day. Now I'm jumped up to four hours. And as I get closer to my lab exams, it will probably bump up to five to six hours a day as I have to put in that extra bit of work. What am I currently studying? At this point, I'm having exams in my school. So at this point, what I'm studying is like the entire thing about what the disease is, what kind of management is there, how to diagnose, how to treat. So I'm basically studying everything that is necessary for my school because my school asks oral questions so we have to orally explain every, every single thing to them instead of like an MCQ that's how they test the knowledge over here. So there are a couple of topics that are not very clear in my mind so at this point I'm using this time to actually uh, go a bit in depth with those topics. For example my knowledge on typical and atypical pneumonia wasn't very clear so I went into detail and understood it much more better. So for the next two to three weeks while I'm having my exams, my routine, study routine has kindly changed because I'm studying more focus towards the school exam. So once these exams finish, what my goal is, is to go back uh, into PLAB studying mode, PLAB and my Sri Lankan exam. So I'm going to go into that mode where I tend to do a lot of questions and answers because that's what the exam tests you. So you have to do much more MCQs and uh, 1700s. When it comes to PLAB, the biggest thing is this. Uh, the 1700 questions, these are the recalls of a lot of past papers that people have remembered and these are all the questions. So the question is on a PDF format. What I did was I just printed all of them out and I'm doing it on in the book, it's easier. So there are like four books over here, like one, two, three and, and four. So 1700 is what I'm planning to do once my exams finishes uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing until uh, my PLAB exams which is probably going to be in November. So once I finish my school exams, I'm planning to get back into the PLAB mode and start doing the 1700 questions. Along with those questions, I'm using two books for referral. So the first book is the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. It is recommended by the GMC and PLAB. I'll probably put a link in the description below so you can probably buy this book on Amazon or something. But uh, any questions that I come across in the uh, 1700s and I do not understand it, I refer to this book. But I also will tell you, this book is just is not in detail enough. So if you want to know a little bit more in-depth learning, you probably have to use YouTube or some other book or probably something else on the internet. But definitely I use this for referral. And the second book that I use for referral, again from the questions, is uh, Oxford Handbook of Clinical Specialities. I'll link this also in the description below. Uh, it's also very important to, this, this is also a very great book, also recommended by the GMC and the PLAB. So these two books, are a must have if you're planning to do PLAB exams. So it's pretty simple. What I'm planning to do is I'm planning to do 1700 questions, learn from the questions, refer to the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine and OHCS. Uh, my phone just rang. <laughs> I should have just put my phone on silent when I started filming this video, but whatever. All right, so uh, as I was saying, um, I use these two books, Oxford Handbook of OHCS and OHCM and the 1700 questions. At the end of the day, I have a goal and my goal is to make sure I at least finish 1700 questions two times completely before I attempt the PLAB exams. And along with that, I want to do at least three or four mocks. I know it's a really difficult goal and it's a lot of questions, but uh, that's why it's very important to set goals and achieve your goals. This brings back to the next part of my video, which is how do I plan and achieve goals on a daily basis? So the biggest thing I do is I even said it in one of my older videos that I have a dot journal. What I do over there is I basically start writing my weekly goals, first of all, whatever I want to achieve during that week. Uh, and then I write the goals on, uh, on a daily basis. So every single night before I go to bed, 
I write down what are the things that I want to achieve the next day. And I also put a checkbox next to it. And after I finish that goal, for example, let's say I finish studying four hours, I'll put a tick next to it. At the end of the week, I will go back to uh, the weekly goals where I, where I wrote down every single thing I wanted to do that week. I'll tick them as well. Uh, that way I know that I'm in part with my goal. I'm, I'm going in the right direction. In case if I'm not able to finish certain things that I was able to do during that week, then I'll probably plan and push it to the next week and do changes as I go forward. So by the end of the week, when I look at all these things that I've accomplished, I feel that I'm going in the right direction and I'm pushing myself every single day. At the end of the day, it's also important to reach big things in life you have to make sure you make small steps every single day. That's why it's important. That's why when I said that I'm doing four hours a day, I believe in consistency. So you have to put those four hours every single day. And this dot journal is absolutely perfect. So if you do not have a dot journal, I highly recommend it. Make sure you give it a try. I'll leave a link in the description below of how you can form your own dot journal and you can get started on it as well. So there you have it, guys. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and that will be great. Psst. You know what else is going to be great? If you can click on the red subscribe button, go ahead, do it right now. And hey, listen, comment in the comment section below and let me know if you want to know some of the techniques that I use to study for PLAB and what exact materials that I use for, the, for PLAB. Uh, maybe I will reply to you in the comment section or I'll make a video all together so all of you guys can enjoy. That's about it. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace.